we're rolling. Alright. So I, I, I try to use the, uh, the gel whenever possible so that way it doesn't run or go anywhere I don't want it to go. The last thing I want is glue to be rolling around inside getting on stuff. So gel if you have it. Um, as you can see, I've got the button right there completely and totally out of it. And I tried to put it together to be like where you have it, where this is still functional. So clamping it like this the entire time, I just unscrew the screws, leaving this side in with your loose button side out, I slightly push in on the USB. And you can see this coming out on this side as I do so. So that holds the button in place. I only want to pull this out far enough. I want to keep this board underneath of the button. That way this is still holding that side of the button and the board is still there to hold the other side of the button in place. I have this available now. That's where this connects. So I would get one little dip of glue. Again, I use the gel right into the hole. One little drip. Just enough to stick it on there. And then very carefully, I set that button in place so that it goes right over top of that little piece. And as I push it back together, there we go. Now, while I'm clamping it together, I'm going to turn it on to ensure that it's working. I have it in the right spot now. And the glue is on there to make sure this doesn't happen to you again. You don't have to use glue, but that's an option, so I showed it. From there, same deal. Since one of the screws was loose, for instance, if this side was the screw that was loose, then what I would do is I would put the glue right up into it and give it a good little squish so that glue actually goes into the inside of the hole. And then from there, while it's nice and juicy, I will screw the screw into the glue. So that way, the threads of the screw get coated. And everything grips everything else. And then the other side, if you need it, do the same. If you don't, don't sweat it. I always go backwards just a hair. You'll feel one little bump and then it'll be free. That way you're screwing into the same threads that were there already rather than recutting it, which will make it strip soon. And then before I use it, every time, before I use it, I'll just ensure that I have proper support pinching it like this. If I go to insert an SD card, I'll have my finger behind this side and then I'll insert or uninsert. If I'm going to pull something out, then I'll put my finger on this side and then that way I'm pulling against my finger. I'm not applying pressure to the screws. So I'm just supporting it. I shouldn't necessarily have to do that, but I always have and I've never had issues like that ever since the first time something like this ever happened to me on a device that wasn't one of these. Um, same thing with this, I would give it support behind and slight twisting motion, slight twisting. This one's looser, but some of them can be tight. So as you go in, if you give it a slight twist, it doesn't matter if it's tight one or not, it's just gonna go in easy. So from there, if I'm pushing, I have support behind. If I'm pulling, I have support in front. Done deal, there we go. Thank you much.